this place that's on selling market, they say, why well, give governor order to arrest people that's selling by the road, alcohol, all this thing, true to go, and selling, drink, wine, all this thing by the road there. They seize my load, take me to also the tap house. They lock me there with pregnant, this baby pregnant. For my president, these people that arrest me, drinking my load, wine, jove, jove, they are drinking to the policemen, they drinking to like this. They arrest me with my load, they are drinking my market. Put me by the ground, sit down, open your leg, open my leg, there's a woman like me to stand for my Santa. Good afternoon. Yeah, good afternoon. Yeah, so I wanted to ask you about the, uh, what do you think about the collation of the results so far, the election results and everything. What do you think about it generally? You no, know, generally, my expectation is just for Atiku to come on board. Because the truth is, I cannot stand Buari for another four years. I cannot. I go just run. I'll just run go my village. We just can't. The Bible says affliction shall not rise the second times. And if Buari should come back again, it will be a double job party. So the we are praying earnestly for Atiku to come on board. Let's try him. Let's try another thief. Let's see what he has in stock. You get so that's just it. So what do you mean by double jeopardy? Double jeopardy is when you when somebody is being punished twice for the same offense. Bari has punished us uh, first in his first term. So if he comes back again, it's going to be, it's going to be a double jeopardy because he's going to punish us again. How do you mean Bari has punished us? His uh, four years reign has been a punishment to Nigerians, don't you know? I'm not black like this before. I fell before. Now, why do you make me black like this? Why do you make you black? Now, you cause son to make you black. You, make you, black. you don't see the kind of somewhere where this is. <laughs> so, the truth is, our prayer is just for Atiku to come on board. Basically, that's just what we wish for. All right, did you also hear that our senior president is not returning to the National Assembly? My only concern is for Atiku to come. I'm not interested in the Senate. I'm just interested in Atiku. I don't want anything Buari again. We have to be deep Buarified. Let's deep. You know, in 2015, it was Se Buari. In 2016, it was Chai Buari. In 2017, Kai Buari. In 2018, it was Wai Buari. 2019, it is Bye Bye Buari. Thank you. We don't need Thank Buari you. no more. Yeah. Buari make me suffer. Well, tell me. Yes. Suffer Through Buari town, then carry my lord, they almost turned a 30,000 market. Look at Buari town, look at my life. If I show you my picture now, I'm not going to listen and me be that. If I want to bank now to draw money, they will say, go outside. They will not believe say it's me that is there. They will not ask me which kind of dress I dress. Which load they carry? Why they carry load? This place that's on selling market. They say, why well, you give governor order to arrest people that are selling by the road, alcohol, all this thing, true to go, and selling, drink, wine, all this thing by the road there. They seize my load, take me to also the tap house. They lock me there with pregnant, this baby pregnant. For my president, these people that arrest me, drinking my load, wine, jove, jove, they are drinking to the policemen, they drinking to like this. They arrest me with my lord, they are drinking my market. Put me by the ground, sit down, open your leg, open my leg. There's a woman like me to stand for my Santa. Drinking my wine, everything like this. No more buari. No more buari. Yeah.